Space continues to confuse, mystify, and inspire us all. If there is one thing that can unite every last person on planet Earth, it's that we all belong to the same tiny speck floating in the vastness of space. We are all tied to our own little corner of space, and our shared perspective is fixed to this big blue ball we call home. So, it should come as no surprise that space discoveries are one of the most popular scientific topics. From experts to laypeople, there are not many people who do not love a good space discovery. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we have some exciting space discoveries. So whether you're a certified scientist or just like to learn more about the universe, here are three recent discoveries from beyond the stars. Astronomers find sprites in Jupiter's atmosphere for the first time. No, it is not something taken from your favorite fantasy TV or book series. Scientists really labeled their most recent discovery on Jupiter as elves and sprites. The fantastically named discovery was made via NASA's Juno mission, which is giving researchers unprecedented information on the massive gas giant. But these so-called sprites are not little creatures running around the distant planet. No, instead, they are being used to refer to strange luminous phenomena, specifically a series of very bright and unpredictable bursts of light. NASA spoke about the discovery and stated that these kinds of light events have never been seen on another planet before. Scientists had predicted such events could take place in the solar system's largest planets, but this is the first confirmation that they do indeed take place. Scientists made the strange discovery when they were observing Jupiter's liquid-like atmosphere, when Juno's UV instruments picked up the odd phenomena. Speaking of the discovery, a Juno scientist named Giles said, UVS was designed to characterize Jupiter's beautiful northern and southern lights, but we discovered UVS images that not only showed Jovian aura, but also a bright flash of UV light over in the corner where it wasn't supposed to be. The more our team looked into it, the more we realized Juno may have detected a TLE on Jupiter. When the scientists use the word sprite, what they are referring to is an event of transient light that is caused by huge storms beneath it. These events also happen on Earth, but are not seen to last more than a number of milliseconds. Elves also does not refer to anything related to the pointy-eared creatures you might be thinking of. In fact, it stands for emission of light and very low-frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources. These strange events have an appearance like flat disks and are seen in upper regions of atmospheres. On Earth, sprites and elves appear reddish in color due to their interaction with nitrogen in the upper atmosphere, said Giles. But on Jupiter, the upper atmosphere mostly consists of hydrogen, so they would likely appear either blue or pink. A giant black hole keeps evading detection in ABEL 2261. Black holes are not known for their ability to be photographed. In fact, when it happened for the first time, it was a big deal. Because of their vacuous nature, scientists tend to use the effects black holes have on their environment in order to pinpoint them. And after decades of black hole study, you would think we would be pretty good at spotting where they are by now. But there is one specific black hole, a giant one, that keeps giving scientists the slip. It is believed that a supermassive black hole exists at the center of most galaxies, if not all of them. And yet, in a galaxy in the space cluster known as Abel 2261, roughly 2.7 billion light years away, we do not have concrete evidence of one. According to what we already know about black hole behavior, there should be a gigantic black hole at the center of Abel 2261 so big that it would weigh anywhere between 3 billion to 10 billion suns, according to the galaxy's overall mass. Researchers have used a variety of methods to try and capture the black hole and any evidence of its existence. Prior efforts involved using X-rays, specifically looking for any that came from the galaxy's center. This is because X-rays can be used to show black hole behavior, as X-rays are a side effect of the matter that enters the black hole and speeds up tremendously. This results in a lot of X-ray energy. Newer studies also did not find anything. Using better tech that searched deeper into the Abel cluster, the more recent effort looked elsewhere. 
not just in the galaxy's centre on the chance that the black hole had been knocked elsewhere because of a galactic merger. When huge objects collide with black holes, they send off gravitational waves out into space. If the waves are not symmetrical, they can potentially change the black hole's course of direction. Scientists posited that this might be the reason they were unable to find the supermassive black hole. These types of events are currently only hypothetical. NASA officials said the following on the matter. It is not known whether supermassive black holes even get close enough to each other to produce gravitational waves and merge. So far, astronomers have only verified the mergers of much smaller black holes. The detection of recoiling supermassive black holes would embolden scientists using and developing observatories to look for gravitational waves from merging supermassive black holes, they added. Abel 2261 might be one of the best places to search for one of these events, as it shows a number of signs that it underwent a huge galactic merger at some point. The Hubble Space Telescope and Subaru Telescope have each shown that at Abel 2261's core, there is a much greater star density than would be expected of a galaxy of Abel's size. NASA officials said that the distance between the galaxy's center and the densest pack of stars was strikingly distant. Unfortunately, only time will tell if we are able to find the missing black hole. Scientists want to store DNA of 6.7 million species on the Moon. A group of researchers have proposed what has been described as a lunar arc, which, if ever executed, would see vast amounts of Earth's genetic material stored on the Moon in case of a cataclysmic event planetside. Almost like a biological save state, the project would involve the creation of a vault to store and house material of Earth's 6.7 million species of plants, animals, and fungi. One of the head concept leaders on the project, Jekin Thanga, said the following, Earth is naturally a volatile environment. As humans, we had a close call about 75,000 years ago with the Toba supervolcanic eruption, which caused a 1,000-year cooling period and, according to some, aligns with an estimated drop in human diversity. Tanga is an aerospace researcher at the University of Arizona and pointed out that genetic material banks are already a thing here on Earth, such as the Svalbard Seed Vault in Norway. Yet these terrestrial banks could be jeopardized by climate change, conflict, or celestial events. Tanga went on to say that the risk factor actually defeats the purpose of these banks, and ensuring that there is a genetic arc on another celestial body, be it moon or planet, was vital. Though an exciting idea, this project would not be cheap, as it would require a significant construction project inside of our moon's hollow lava tubes. The walls of these tubes would help to protect the arc from environmental dangers as well as meteor strikes. The temperatures would also be useful for storage, as these hollow areas typically sit at around minus 15 degrees Celsius. Tanga is hopeful that we may seriously be able to consider the construction of such an arc in the next 30 years, as space travel becomes more viable. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.